YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be guiding you guys through step by step how to make a snowy button like this right here. Um, you can see it looks really cool. So I'm going to try to be as uh, detailed as possible. So first things first, we're going to take the eyedropper tool, okay, right here. Click on this background, you can screenshot my screen so you can take the color yourself. Click on background, I'm going to hit alt and backspace. It's gonna fill our background with this color. I'm just gonna control T, okay, to resize my reference. And now we can begin. So let's start off by adding some rulers. Uh, if you don't have these, you can hit control R, the keyboard, or go to view and rulers. So right here, all right, wait, if you're watching this video and you're enjoying it, make sure to check out our store. We have uh, free templates. We have paid templates for your Roblox game development. Um, we have effects packs. We have logos. So go ahead and check out our website. We will have tons of more products coming very soon. Uh, drag some to the center like that. And also for the vertical line right, right over here. All right, so let's think about how we should start this off. I think we should start off with the with the bottom base part right here. So let's grab our ellipse tool. So go to the left side. Might be a rectangle right here. So click and hold. Then you want to go down to ellipse right here. And uh, we're going to hold alt. And this is going to bring up eyedropper as well. I'm going to select this bottom color. <laughs> All right, now go to the center and we're gonna click and hold. Okay, so click and hold. Now we're gonna hold shift and alt. And we're just going to drag this out like that. That should be a decent size. All right, go back to the move tool. Now on the layers panel, I'm gonna hold alt. I'm going to drag this layer down and let go. This is going to make a copy. Now on our uh, canvas right here, you're gonna hold shift, you're gonna hold shift. And you're gonna drag this down. So double click. Now we're gonna select this color. Okay. So now we have that. Perfect. Let's uh, make a new layer on uh, on top of this one. So in between these two, let's zoom in. And we're gonna take our pencil. So click this. Make sure your fill is on. So the black square is selected right here, and the stroke is off. So the red outline. The red slash, I mean. All right, now we're just going to take our pencil and we're just going to click across this um, effects right here. Now we can take this, double click, choose the same color. Okay, drag this and we hit control T and we can scale this up. Place it right here. Should be fine. <laughs> uh, right here should be fine. Could be a bit bigger, I guess. All right, make sure they blend in like that. All right, it's cool. All right, so now let's check this out. Um, so new layer, pencil, hit D and X to make your color white. I'm just gonna copy this shape as well. If you guys are wondering why are we tracing UI, it makes no difference if we are tracing or making an original UI because if you want to make original, because if you want to make your own UI, <laughs> you have to know the techniques to make a UI first. So what better way to practice technique than to trace a UI? It's really not a difficult concept. All right, anyways, let's get right here. Looks good to me. Um, there's a tiny shadow here, it seems. So let's go to uh, this layer, right click, blending options. Let's go for a drop shadow. All right, turn this all the way up. Spread size down, distance like that. Turn that off. Let's go right here. 
and we're just going to click color and let's go for this uh, this color right here let's get to me all right so that right there is our base now we're gonna make our actual our actual snow thing here all right so let's copy this layer Control j drag the uh effects to the bottom to uh remove it double click i'm just gonna select uh, this color all right Control t we scale this down Move this over here all right so new layer we go pencil and we're just going to trace this little uh, this thing all right same color so now we have a nice little shape it looks like this all right Now we're gonna scale these two again to make sure it is fitting properly. Alright, we're gonna take these two, right click, I'm gonna go convert to smart objects. Like that. And here is there's a shadow here. We could uh go into blending options, let's go inner shadow, let's go for color black. Let's get to me. Uh, we could scale down off the top, actually. <laughs> but this is only part of the bottomish layers. Anyways, now for the actual top part, this part is actually easier than it seems. So, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go. Take this layer, Alt drag to the top. Get rid of the effects. And I'm gonna make our color this metal color. Okay, drag this up. It's gonna be like like this. Okay. So now with this, we're gonna do something interesting. Right, with this right here, let's hit Control T. Okay, let's right click. Let's go warp. And here we're gonna mess around with the shape something like that should be fine looks a bit weird but it's okay all right so once you're happy we're, gonna, we're going to make a new layer right click create clipping mask let's go pencil and we're just gonna um, do something like this so click click and hold drag this all the way down right here and it should circle up round the click it's like this color um all right now for the top part same thing you layer right click create clipping mask now for these little holes dense easy uh, ellipse tool you layer drag out the shape move it right here right click blending options gradient overlay uh, normal click no click make it white and go here so it's something like that and uh, you can also go out of glow I call it white and overlay it gives it a bit more of an effect if you want <laughs> you don't have to but those right here copy this pencil new layer clip
or I'm just touching everything up. Uh, the rest is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, I'm kind of sorry to talk, but let's just copy here. Take this and place it right here. To just kind of make sure everything looks better, I'm just gonna adjust some things. So, right here, this is kind of too wide. Fix that. <laughs> um, this part right here. And uh, let's see, this thing. Alright, so to present this, let's take everything, group it all up, control G. Alright, let me center this uh, thing. Alright, control J, control E to merge, control J to copy again. Filter, camera raw filter. Okay, alright, you see the before after oh yeah that's gonna do it for this video um, if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel that's how it's gonna look on the side pretty cool and yeah I hope to see you guys uh, in the next video peace